Hello everybody, today we are going to be taking a look at a game by TML Studios called The Buzz. So The Buzz was actually released on the 25th of March 2021, it's now April. And you'll be saying, Wobbly, why are you reviewing this now in April? Or why are you showing it to us in April? Well, I didn't get a key till April and a big thank you to TML Studios who did forward me a key but it's a little bit like old news now this is because um, everybody's done this on youtube everybody's played the game everybody's given their pen of about the buzz so what can i do different well i can play the game on my pc specs and show you what it's currently like on my graphics card which is a 1080 ti now they actually recommend at least uh, they actually recommend um, an RTX 2060 or better for best performance in this game, or at least a GTX 950 or a Radeon R9 280. So we'll play through it on my 1080 Ti and uh, just see what it's like. But first. You will see on the screen an early access disclaimer because this game has been released in an early access state and some may say it's just a little bit too early but however if you're happy to play the game in the current state that it's in and continue and help the game developers to develop the game and put your input in then that is up to you how you spend your money if you want to buy the game in this current state but don't go whinging on social media that it offers limited content and features because they're being really open here on the screen you can see the game currently offers limited content and features will have serious performance issues might often crash now i haven't experienced any crashes in the game whatsoever um, it also says it might not even start at all. I haven't experienced that. Um, you might lose your save games and progress. Can't comment on that. Um, I'm not really saved any of my games on it at the moment. Um, we'll receive updates which change the experience. I believe it's been updated once since this uh, since it was released. Um, there will be bugs, a lot of bugs, and seriously, lots of bugs. Bugs. Should you find something odd, please report it using the, um, what does it say? Help us by reporting any bugs um, on the Steam forums or directly on our developer forums at TML Studios, blah, 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 blah. So if you're happy with all that, just make sure you know what you're buying into. Um, you may want to wait a little bit longer, but if you're really keen to play the buzz, then you've got to understand that, as it says in that disclaimer, some of them things may well happen. So anyway, I'll probably bored you enough. Let's uh, let's get on and let's uh, let's see how it uh, currently plays through on my graphics card, um, which is currently a GTX 1080 Ti Turbo. Um, the Asus one so um, yeah let's crack on so what we will do we will actually just uh, just go into free play um, we'll uh, it's set up for the 18 meter big bendy Scania sunny weather and uh, we'll just have a little bit I don't know 15, 15 minutes or so a um, little play on it um, just to see what it's currently like and then with the regular updates and if they drop more content into it um, and as they update the game and it comes out of early access maybe <laughs> sometime in the future we'll, uh, we'll play a, a lot more of it so you'll see it does actually look very firm buzzy it does look like firm buzz simulator and um, graphics wise um, the chap on the screen, you know, and he's in Fimble Simulator, isn't he? Um, there's a lot of similar similarities in this game with Fimble Simulator. But, uh, yeah, let's let's get into this scan. Yeah. You know, the the actual buzzies themselves are very well modelled. A lot of windows open. 
There you go. I believe the hatch is. There's a key. If you see the hatch on the top of the roof here, there is a, there's a key. I'm not too sure which one it is, but them hatches do actually open. You couldn't really get two two buzzies in this at the moment in this early access uh, review. Kneels down, we'll open the doors and I'll turn the ignition. What have we done here? Ignition on. I'll try and get a uh, Trying to get an outside view actually of the actual bus and I can't do it while I'm sitting in it because we're under the, oh there we go, we're under that canopy slightly. You can see the uh, the bus is actually near down there. Now we haven't got the destination board, it isn't actually lit up on the front of the bus. And the reason for that is, this is where it's slightly different than the Fernbus simulator. You have to log on on the computer because you will be taking cash on this uh, in this game. And this is the computer here. Well, I don't know what you actually call this, but uh, let me just zoom in. Try to anyway. What I need to do is just zoom in and uh, press start. Oh, this is painful. Go on, press start, models. There we go. It gives us a current tour number, 16455. So 16455 is what we need to enter in. And there we go. We're all set. Now, passengers will now board. The destination will have come on on the front of the board. Nobody wants any tickets. So that's easy. So we can just shut the doors and uh, push on. Little camera there, we can make sure the passengers have sat, sat down. So, in gear, indicate, check the mirror, and away we go. Now, there's a little speed limit here as we leave Berlin Airport, which does actually, if, you, if, you, if you're not familiar with Berlin Airport, as I'm not, I went and searched on the internet and had a look at a couple of uh, photographs, it does, there is, it does actually look extremely similar to the actual airport. Um, there's an actual speed limit down here, oh, it's gone back up to 30. The bus does actually accelerate quite quickly. So you may see me overspeeding in this video as I'm, I'm just plowing through it just to show you what it's currently like, what state it's currently in. This is extremely early access. Some may say it's a little bit too early access, but uh, we'll just see how it plays through on my PC. My, I will put my current PC specs in the video description below. Now. The settings and the graphic settings on this are very similar, if not the same, than on Firmbus. So currently, I have this set on. Everything is set on as high as it will go, which is, is it epic or ultra. Anyway, it's all on high settings, including traffic is on 100% and pedestrians is on 100%. So, if it wasn't performing too well for me, I could turn the graphic settings down just a little bit. However, the game may not look as good. As soon as you start turning them graphic settings down, the game just doesn't look as good. Oh, what are you doing? Almost you've hit the barrier. Come on, driver. Crashed. Now, it does simulate rush hour 
traffic and the actual driving experience with the AI traffic and how you drive through the uh, through the city is uh, I think it was quite it's quite good you've got to know the route and you've got to know the roads you just pulled up into that car there <laughs> I mean he had a crash And the game also does include dynamic weather settings. All sorts of settings regarding the weather, time, day, year, etc. is available in the game. I'm just going to cover the basics in this video because this is one that I will be playing on the channel in the future as the game develops fairly. So this is just the very first basic introduction first look at a very early access game that's uh, currently on the market my first impressions of this were actually quite good and looking on steam at uh, the current early early access reviews it has got a overwhelmingly positive um, reviews so it seems that the people who have played this game are pleased with it and like the direction in which it's going. Now just in case you, you don't actually know anything about the, the boss, um, it's described as the next generation of city bus driving simulation set in the capital of Germany, Berlin, on a realistic scale of 1.1. So you transport passengers on different lines across the city of Berlin with various buses. You also manage your fleet and you can team up with other drivers online. Clipping the curb here, catching the curb driver. Let's uh, just get it off the curb. Let's open the doors. And very God in neutral. Oh, here you go. Somebody wants a ticket. So this is what's new in the game. Right, so he is requesting a single ticket, zone A, B. He wants one. So we should print off a ticket, press that button there, there goes the ticket, ticket comes out, price is 3 euros, he's given me 5 euros, so we give him 2 back, there we go, close the doors, check that he's sitting down in the camera, indicate in gear, handbrake off, check mirrors, away we go. And uh, we've got a little bit of congestion here, so we'll have to be careful. We'll just have to push our way through. As you can see, everybody's in a rush. So check the mirrors. Are we round? Might have to just use a little bit of extra space as we go round there. If we Got the back end round, yes we did, we did okay there. Quite a long buzz this is. So again, if you don't know a great deal about this, on the other monitor I have actually got the Steam page up and some of the key features in this game, let's just briefly read through them. Large and detailed map of the capital city of Germany, Berlin, in a scale of 1.1. In-game line and route editors, in-game timetable and tour editors, boarding and deboarding passengers, including ticket sales, of which we've already seen one, we've done one of them. AI traffic featuring various types of vehicles, pedestrians and complex traffic lights various sites, points of interest and landmarks, freedom of movement, walk freely inside the vehicles and the open world, full day and night cycle with weather and seasons, various control modes, realistic, arcade and custom, 
Mouse control for convenient driving with keyboard and mouse only. Supports many steering wheels with or without pedals. Supports Toby eye tracking and track IR. Photo mode for creating your own high quality screenshots. Two intriguing, two what? Integrated web radio channels, double bass FM and flash bass FM. I couldn't say them words there. Intro gate in integrated forget it wobbles move on more features and content will be added along early access So currently performance wise I uh, we have had a few um, Drops in frame rate and we've had a few stutters uh, like I say this is a 1080 Ti I'm running on um, very early access they are saying there will be performance issues um, I've, had, I've had quite a few stutters in the frame rate and in spike drops um, but I have to say I'm running on a 1080 Ti uh, they do recommend uh, a much a slightly better graphics card uh, than the one I'm currently running however it is early access and in the disclaimer at the beginning it does say we will have these um, issues so I'm hoping uh, in future updates that the performance um, will be much much better than it currently is so, so let's open the doors, they all come in on the front doors and the passengers actually go out on the uh, on the rear doors. No ticket sales again, so uh, that's easy, that's easy because Right, check all the passengers sitting down, back in gear, handbrake off, indicate mirrors, away we go. Now if I'm brutally honest with you in its current state let's put the date in again it was released in uh, the 20 it was released on the 25th of march 2021 very early access let's just can we just get in the middle here very early access um, it's now april 2021 as this video was released um i'm only putting that in just in case some a year down the line somebody's watching you're watching this video um if i'm brutally honest with you um in this game version I've played it for a couple of hours and I'm getting a little bit bored so I would say I don't know maybe after 10 hours or possibly let's say 20, 20 25 hours if you've had 25 hours of gameplay on this you may then be just waiting for more content and features to drop into the game that's just my own personal opinion it is very very early access however i'm my fear my very first impressions when i first played this were wow i like it which is good but i will be glad when more content drops more buzzies drop and the game as it comes out of early access and the game progresses uh, i'm hope i'm hoping it's going to be many many improvements on what we've currently got here physics physics wise um, the buzzes drive very much like firm bus and tourist bus simulator very the, the physics are just the same on the uh, on the buses exactly the same as firm bus and tourist bus simulator I don't know where they're going to improve the physics on the uh, on the buses in the future maybe it's something that they are looking at so I think we'll uh, we'll wind it up here chaps um, because I'm going to be covering this game in the future hopefully the future updates are going to be improvements <laughs> Because if I'm brutally honest, it's painful for me to play with the uh, stutters and drops and frame rate um, performance wise, but we are aware of that. There is a disclaimer in the beginning of the game which tells you of performance issues and lots and lots of bugs. So, let's sum it up. What do I think of it? My first impressions I liked it, I think it's good. But uh, 
I will reserve my judgment to see what future updates are dropped into this game more content possibly to come and uh, I shall keep an eye on it I shall come back I shall do more videos in the future I should be I should be playing it because Thimble Simulator I'm in the top 1000 drivers on Thimble Simulator um, I do I do enjoy that game personally I would have liked them to have improved that game more uh, but you know that's their that's their choice isn't it? life goes on new things come out um, but yeah first impressions good but looking forward to future updates so let's just see if we actually get does anybody want a ticket no you can see the two doors which they actually get off the bus the bus there they come in through the front they get off on the rear doors so there you go thanks for watching guys this is my first look at the bus the reason i didn't cover it hey, it's gone a little bit quieter now first look at the bus the reason i didn't actually cover the game um, when it was actually released was i hadn't actually um, purchased the game and i didn't get a pre-release um, copy to put up on the channel in the end, TML Studios, I, I did manage to get a key off TML Studios to actually uh, put the game on the channel because this is one. I hope, I hope, I possibly will be playing in the future. It's very much dependent on how the game uh, develops. But overall, first impressions are very good. So uh, thanks for watching, chaps, and uh, stay safe.